Hello everyone. So in this video, I will show you that how you can design primer for your PCR by using NCBI. So just to design primer for your gene, be using NCBI. First of all, just open your browser and open the NCBI website now. So this is the you can say home page of S NCBI website. Here, in order to design the primer, you will need sequence of your gene. And if you have the sequence of your gene, then you can directly put that sequence. Or if you do not have, then you can also get the sequence of that particular gene from this NCBI also. So just to show you a demo, I am going to design a primer for a gene. So for this, just select this gene database and here, like for example, I am going to search for the hemoglobin beta gene, so HBB and search it now as it is search so now this is the search result of this hemoglobin beta gene like it shows the hemoglobin beta gene in homo sapiens in mouse in rat in cattle so i am going to show about this hemoglobin subunit beta gene of homo sapiens that is human so just click here to open the sequence of this gene so this is all about the hemoglobin beta gene of homo sapiens and this is the basic information like its symbol HBB official name is this hemoglobin subunit beta and all this information. Now how I can design the primer by using this information. So to design the primer you scroll down to this section. So this graphical section here you can design the primer for your gene how you can design the primer so for this first of all what are these bars represent you should know this so these green bars this one this one and this one so this green bar these are the axons of this hemoglobin gene while this thick green line this sorry this thin green line this is the intron so these thick bars, these are the axons of this gene and while this thin line is the introns of these genes. So now for example, if you want to make or if you want to amplify this second axon by PCR, then you have to design the primer that will amplify this second axon. So how you can design the primer for this second axon? So for this, first of all, you can zoom it just place your cursor here click and select the portion so you can select as much as portion you can like this i am selecting this much portion now right click and go to the option that is zoom on range so as you click zoom on range so now you can see that this exon second is now zoomed in so now how we can make or we can design the primer so that it this portion this exon second can be amplified so for designing primer you have to select the portion according to which you want to make the primer like for example if i select this portion so just click here and drag the sequence up to this so this will be our forward primers but as we know there are two primers in pcr so we have to select the reason according to which the reverse primer will also be generated so for this just press the control key on your keyboard and now select the portion so now you can see that these two portions are selected once you selected a portion according to which you want to design the primer now just right click and by clicking the right portion you can see that here the blast and primer search option so now here is the option that is primer blast selection so as we selected the region so we will choose this primer blast selection option as we choose it will open the another window and which is the primer blast software of this ncbi here it has taken whatever we selected like the for the former primer we have selected this range that is primer will be generated for the sequence ranging from this nucleotide to this nucleotide. Similarly, for the reverse primer, it will be generated for the sequence that range from this to this one. 
now these are some other option which you can change like you can change the product size whatever you want you can also change the melting temperature like minimum is 57 optimum is 60 and maximum is 63 so you can either change it or you can keep this as such now as this is the important portion here the pair specificity checking parameter you have to check it carefully like which database is selected you can either change the database here so this is the reference RefSQ messenger and database is selected. This is the organism that is Homo sapiens. So after checking this portion, so now you can click or you just click this get primer. So now results are there after some time like this. So these are the primer. These blue arrow, these are the primer. This is primer 1, primer 2. So this software has just designed 10 primer for the selected portion. This is primer 1, this is the forward primer and this one is the reverse primer. So this is that portion which we want to amplify and the primers will anneal to this, this portion because we selected this portion for designing the primer. So now you can see the primers are within the range which we just selected and if we use these primers so the portion that is exon 2 will be amplified. So now you can see that these are 10 primers. So you can use first one, second one, whichever you want. So I recommend you to use first one. Then if this doesn't work, then you can go for the third and so on. And if you scroll down, so now you can see this is the detail of this primer. Like the primer first pair, forward primer, the sequence of forward primer is this one. And it is the forward primer means plus it will read from 5 to 3 dash direction. The length of the primer is 21 base pair that it is start from this region and, and at this region. So this is the range of primer. This is the melting temperature of 58.42 degree centigrade. This is the GC content 42.86% and this is the self complementarity ratio that how it can uh, self complementary or how it can make the hairpin or you can say secondary structure. Now this is the reverse primer again this is the sequence this is the template minus it, it read in the reverse direction this is the length it this is the portion from which the primer starts and stop portion this is the melting temperature GC content and self complementarity and self 3 dash complementarity. Similarly in case of second primer this detail are just in front of you. So you can now see it generated or it designed the 10 primer for us. So you can use either of them. So this is all about that how you can design the primer by using the NCBI or you can say by using the primer blast software of NCBI. So that's all for today guys. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.